daylight air assault by the United States 8th Air Force under General Ica at its heaviest during a week of intense action. A series of large-scale operations which took in eight major targets of great importance. Fleets of fortresses and liberators reaching into Germany, East Prussia and Poland. No part of the Reich is immune from these paralyzing blows, which by day and night are cracking Germany open and laying waste her industrial centers. This is Marienburg, East Prussia, getting it. The home of the FW-190s is totally destroyed. The week of siege has Munster on the list. Fortresses hitting rail and water communication. The Thunderbolt escort hung tight to the bombers and went into the attack too. The daylight missions have grown to such proportions that they may no longer be classed as raids. They're full-scale air battles in which squadron after squadron of bombers and fighters swirl in combat thousands of feet above the earth. Losses on both sides are heavy, but the Battle of Germany will increase in intensity. Schweinfurt was announced as the most vital target in Germany. Clouds of Nazi fighters are sent up to break up the formations, but the forts press home the attack. Outcome is that Schweinfurt has ceased to function, says America's bombing chief. German industrialists will have to think up something air sats to take the place of ball bearings. Her output has come to a full stop. and 49 bombers and seven fighters lost in a week of unleashed hell. That's the debit side. But American gunners claimed 439 interceptors and their bombardiers have established a heavy credit. <laughs> 